Mm. Okay, welcome to the Unix pod. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Elias Pöyry. And what do you do? I'm representing Virta, so we are an EV charging company. Okay, can you tell us in like one sentence, what do, what do you do at Virta or what is Virta? Well, our mission is to bring electric cars into people's everyday lives and in the energy system, so both sides. Okay, and how does that go? <laughs> of course, uh, it's a question of integrating all parties in the value chain together, so that, that's where we need a platform. So we are the digital platform that co connects the charging points, the EVs, the users and the energy players in the same ecosystem where the money, money flows and energy flows can be managed. Okay, so this day, TMT Day, is about latest trends in the tech industry. Mm -hmm. Would you say that Vilta is one of the latest trends? Yeah, I believe so. We are in, in the market of uh, disruption in both energy and mobility sectors. So, so I think we are in the very kind of edge of this new technology trends. How do you think the future will look like? Or where do you think we're headed? Well, I think we are heading towards more sustainable future, at least. So, so there is a great consensus over climate change issues and, and how to tackle them. And, and I think, my, as a positive person, I think that we are going towards a digital world with, with sustainable solutions. Would you say that we are um, working towards sustainability now already, or are we heading there in like 50 years? Well, that's a good question. I don't think we have 50 years. Uh, of course, we can always say that we're not doing enough, but uh, there is a lot happening. But of course, there, there's tendency to do two small things. So, so often, uh, kind of a low emission solution is the biggest enemy of zero emission solution. So, so we should go forward towards the zero emission solution. You said uh, before in your answer that we don't have 50 years. What do you mean by that? Well, according to studies, we should be able to to reach the zero carbon or carbon neutrality in less than 50 years. So we're talking about maybe 30 years that we have time if we want to reach the Paris Agreement goal of, of uh, not increasing the global temperature more than two degrees. So that's kind of the scientific side of it, not enough time. Yeah. And how I was, um, when I listened to you, you said something about legislation. Mm. Since uh, Bird and Bird and this day is hosted by a law firm, mm -hmm. uh, where do you think that the law has its place in this new digitized world? I think the law has its place in everything. Uh, the question is where we, where we need legislation, where we don't need legislation. But from a kind of a growth company perspective, of course, we would hope to have as unified as possible legislation in Europe. And, and that's not the case if you look at the energy sector or the mobility sector. They are very protected and very local sectors at the moment. So there is a lot of legislation that is local, but there is also a lot of legislation that is missing. If we take, for instance, crowds crowdsourcing, mm -hmm. there is no legislation for how to do payments in crowdsourcing and how to tax them. And how come? Do you think it's because that the, the development is way ahead or? Yes, yes. The technology the is way issue? ahead and, and the legislation is not yet in place. So, so that's def definitely an issue if you try to make uh, kind of uh, international or global business models. So, so there is no legislation, you cannot make global business models. But uh, lots of work for creative lawyers. <laughs> yeah, I've been, uh, as, as a history, I've been as a consultant founding a lot of these disruptive companies for listed companies and for other owners. And uh, usually the first partner by founding an industrial startup is a consultant and the second partner is a lawyer. So, so legal agencies have a great role in building these functional legal frameworks in the new economy and new digital Digital One last question mm -hmm. before I let you go. Uh, your brand, you chose the color yellow. Yes. How come? 
Well, it's a good question. I think it's because all the brands are, that are related to green mobility are either blue or light blue or light green. Yeah. And we thought that they are like insurance company colors that don't smell and, and don't taste anything. So we thought that we want to be bold and a bit more aggressive in, in building our market, our product and, and our service towards the international market. Interesting. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Okay.